Hi guys! I finally, finally finished the host, so I wanted to do a quick review, and this is going to be as quick as possible because I forgot to charge my camera and I can see the battery thing blinking at me. I'm pretty sure I'm one of the last people to get around to reading this book, but in case you have no idea what it's about, this is The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and it was originally published in 2008. It's a young adult dystopian novel in which we kind of get to see the end of the human race as we know it. The Earth has been invaded by these parasitic aliens that don't have their own bodies, but rather take on human hosts. Like, they insert themselves into the body, hence the title of the book. The plot follows one of the aliens named Wander as she deals with the fact that her host, Melanie, hasn't quite gone away yet. She is still conscious in her head and she's kind of talking to her and directing her. Melanie actually manages to convince Wander to go looking for her family and the man she loves and we get to follow this adventure that Wander has and we get to learn with her what it means to be human, what it means to be alien, and what it means to love. Honestly, I have really conflicting feelings about this novel. Originally, I picked it up because one, everyone was talking about it, and two, I really wanted to see the film. Obviously, I didn't read it in time to do that. I'm just not sure how I feel about it, and it makes me wonder whether or not it's just a problem that I have with Stephanie Meyer's writing in general. I didn't really enjoy Twilight, and I know it's not correct to compare the two because they're totally different worlds, totally different concepts, but I'm just not a huge fan of the way she writes her protagonists. In the beginning, there's a lot of talk about how Wander is this amazingly strong individual and how she's traveled to all of these worlds and she's really a pioneer among her species, but then she spends most of the book crying and being overly emotional and really afraid of everything. While I did understand that she had a right to be scared as the only alien among various humans, I don't know, I just, it was, she was a little disappointing for me. I also felt this way about Jared, who's Melanie's love interest, and this might get a little spoilery, so if you haven't read the book yet, um, maybe, maybe I'll see you next time. I really did not enjoy Jared at all. He was kind of a jerk, and I understand, again, I understand why he was a jerk, I just, that made me not like him at all, and I honestly really, really, really enjoyed Ian's character, so I felt like Jared, I just kind of dismissed him. At first I was hoping for this epic romance between Melanie's body and Jared, and I don't know, I just kind of didn't really get a sense for that at all, I didn't really care about that at all, I was more interested in the way Wanderer and Ian were developing feelings for each other. Ian was just a generally nice guy, and I think that young girls need more um, nice guy role models. I think we let girls go for jerks way too much. Along the same lines as that, I kind of had feminist issues with this book, which makes me think that I can't turn off my college analytical brain to enjoy young adult fiction anymore, but just hear me out. I was really, really bothered by the fact that Melanie's body was being argued over. Specifically when Jeb said whoever this body belongs to gets to make the decisions for it because he was asking two boys and they were fighting over ownership of a girl's body. That just made me really uncomfortable. I don't think Stephanie Meyer meant to say anything along the lines of females belong to men, but I don't know, that just made me really, really uncomfortable when I was reading it. The other problem I had with this book is that the beginning is incredibly, incredibly slow. I probably didn't get hooked on it until page 250. Even after that, I had no problem whatsoever putting it down and walking away. I read a lot of this on my road trip home and then again the day, I, the first day I was home, but then after that I put it down for a whole day and a half and didn't even think about it, didn't feel like picking it back up again until I made myself that night because I was like, no, you need to finish this, you're so close. Again, I know a lot of people really enjoy this book, but I only gave it a three stars on Goodreads because the world building was amazing, don't get me wrong, that the concept was my favorite part, aside from Ian. So all in all, three stars for me, I don't know, it was okay. I don't regret reading it, but I don't think I would pick it up again anytime soon. If you've read this book and have different opinions, let me know. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!